Hello, this is Lazarus at Telecom Tech, where telecom and networking technologies are simply explained. Today, we'll be simply explaining how the BGP best path algorithm prefers eBGP routes over iBGP routes. Now, just a short reminder, please subscribe to the channel to get updates to new videos and let me know in the comments about topics that you would like me to address in the future. If you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. The BGP best path algorithm, when it receives multiple paths to a particular destination, compares a series of attributes in a particular order to determine which path is the best. If all previous attributes are the same, then the algorithm prefers routes learned via eBGP over those routes learned via iBGP. Now it's easy to say, but it's kind of hard to visualize. So let's take a look at a practical example. Now in this topology, we have R1 and R2 in the same autonomous system of 100, and we have R3 in AS160. R3 is advertising the 30.30.30.0 slash 24 network to both R1 and R2. R1 learns about this network directly from R3 via their eBGP peering, but it also learns about the network via R2 via their iBGP peering. Now remember, an eBGP peering is one that takes place between two BGP routers that are in different ASs, while an iBGP peering takes place between two BGP routers within the same AS. So R1 now has received information about the 30.30.30.0 slash 24 network from both an eBGP peering and an iBGP peering. Let's take a look at R1's BGP table. Now let's walk through the BGP best path algorithm process here to understand what we are seeing. First, we see that the weight is the same, so we go on to the next attribute. Next, we take a look at the local preference. Now, what we see here is interesting because one route has a local preference of 100, which is the default value given by BGP, while the other does not. Why is that? Well, remember that local preference is an attribute that is exchanged only by IBGP peers. Because R1 has an EBGP peering with R3, no local preference value is shared. So since one of the routes does not have a local preference, the comparison of this attribute is inconclusive or it's considered a tie and we go on to the next attribute. Next, we take a look at the self-origination attribute. Neither route is self-originated by the local router since both were learned via BGP updates from other routers. Next, we look at the AS path length and we see that the length is the same for both routes. Then we look at the origin code and we see that both origin codes are I for IGP because the origin of both routes come from them being injected into the BGP domain using the network command. Next, we look at the med and we see here too that it is equal at the default value of zero. So the very next attribute we check is what is the source of the particular route? Is it an eBGP peering or is it an iBGP peering? And we can see from this I here that the path via 2.2.2.2 which is R2, was learned via iBGP, while the path via 3.3.3.3, which is R3, was learned via eBGP. So the eBGP source is preferred. And we can see that this route is chosen because of this greater than sign in the BGP table. So why is eBGP preferred over iBGP? Well, simply looking at this diagram, we can easily see that it is always more efficient to route traffic via the eBGP path rather than via iBGP. If a route is learned via eBGP, then by definition, it is found outside of the local AS. So it's preferable to send traffic directly to an eBGP peer, meaning you're going out of your local AS, rather than to send it to another router within your AS, only to be sent out of the AS anyway. So it's really just an issue of efficiency, of the shortest path to the destination. So that's why BGP prefers eBGP routes over iBGP routes. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you have, please click that thumbs up button. 
If you'd like me to address other related topics, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe to get updates to newly published videos. I'm Lazarus at Telecom Tech. I hope this video has been helpful for you and I'd like to thank you for watching.